economy in Venetia should be for everybody. It shouldn't just be for one large firm. And that's my concern. And we, I don't see, I thought maybe Ed and Jack would be able to make it, but I, um, I guess they didn't. And uh, they're just representative of a lot of really great businesses that are in the industrial park, most of which you never hear about. Some of them are international scale. They go actually to the Paris show. Some of them are one of a kind, uh, custom electric bicycles. And then there are the in-between uh, companies and firms. And they will be affected by whatever decision we make in dealing with the expansion or the, I guess it's the expansion of the refinery. So we have to think very carefully about that, how it's done. And, um, and I worry about that. The second worry I have is that uh, there's a lot that we could be gambling with here in terms of public health. Um, I'm often called the environmental candidate. And I always wonder, what do people mean by the environmental ca candidate? Who wants dirty air? Yeah. yeah. I don't see any hands. Who wants uh, dirty water? I don't see any hands. Who, who would like to have um, public health? <laughs> right. So, so it's sort of like, how can you be too environmental if you're for clean air, clean water, public health, and put it all together, that's called a community. It's a safe community where we can um, know that our air isn't polluted or isn't polluted as much, or we can work toward reducing the pollution and making sure that we don't have something like Flint, Michigan. And for pity's sakes, let's not go the way of Youngstown, Pennsylvania, which was totally dependent on one industry and never had a chance to plan for going ahead with a different industry. And generations suffer when that kind of decision is made. But we don't have to go to Youngstown to look at that. We can look at Venetia. And bitten once, maybe, you know, it's okay, could have been a little bit careful, but twice? That does not make sense. When the Army left in 66, there was nothing. There was not a dollar that was spent on helping Venetia plan. And what came out of that is completely done by the folks who wanted to rebuild kind of the phoenix rising out of the ashes of the Army leaving. Um, a lot of people say today that it wasn't well done. But if you think about the time that it was done, it was a time of desperation. But we don't need to do that. We don't need to be desperate. We have many tools and many things, and some of the tools and things that we have are you and the folks who've come to Benicia and the things that we've learned to value today. So that's what I'm fighting for, and that's what I want to protect, and that's what I want you to help me uh, achieve.